I'm here with Kevin Ryan, CEO of e-commerce giant Gilt Group, who just acquired Groupon competitor Buy With Me. So you're already in this daily deal space with Gilt City. Why did mm -hmm. you make this acquisition? So we made the acquisition because we think it's a great customer list. They have hundreds of thousands of customers and over a million members. And so we think that a lot of those members will want to buy things on Gilt City or on Gilt or on Jet Setter or on Taste or any one of our products. So we think it's a good fit. What other acquisitions does Gilt plan on making? So a possibility for us would be any, any company, either flash sales or full price, that's in one of the verticals that we already do, in one of our seven or eight verticals. Uh, it could be things in Japan, because we have a big business in Japan. I was there last week. Uh, we may look uh, abroad internationally at some other opportunities there as well. So uh, there's a range of possibilities. There's, there's, the targets could be you know, dozens and dozens of companies. Guilt City competitor Groupon, they're doing their IPO this Friday. Yeah. How do you think they're going to do? So the IPO, if you measure it by how they do in the next week, I think is going to go fine. They're selling very little stock, so it's only 5% of the total uh, capitalization. So there's a good chance that there'll be a little bit of pop on the stock when they go out the door. I think the more fundamental question is, is there growth and is the churn outweighing the new customer acquisition? And so we'll, it'll take a quarter or two to see that, and then, then we'll really we'll discover the true value of Groupon at that point. But we shouldn't forget that they have a big business. I mean, they're doing billions and billions of dollars uh, of revenue. Uh, and so it's a valuable company. So was this the right decision for them or should they have taken the $6 billion that Google offered them last year? So I still think that they're, they're better off going public because my, my guess is that they'll be worth you know, at least $6 billion uh, you know, by next week. Um, now after that, it's gonna depend on the results. So you're saying it's a good decision for them to go public, but earlier this year, Susan told me that Gilt intends to stay private for a while. Is that still your plan? Yeah, we're not you know, working on an IPO at all right now, but we've always said that at some point we probably will go public, but I, I doubt it's next year. Uh, it could be 2013. That depends a little bit on the markets. Uh, you know, we don't have as much of a need to go public. I think, I think Groupon uh, needed, you know, we're getting low on cash, and so they probably was a good time for them to go public. And they've been very aggressive, and so maybe it'll turn out well for them. But uh, right now, we're pretty happy being private, and we'll see how that develops.